Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? Has your uncle traded? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only <laughs> recently <laughs> mentioned... <laughs> Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland... He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts... I take it you and... We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know. I'll try and look into it for you. Thank you. He's very thorough in his... In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again. And the Roland Oaks. Could this be Mr. Oakes's campsite? Maybe it could. Maybe it couldn't. We shall soon find out. Dude, throw a cabbage. <laughs> Renrog's loyalists, just ahead. Hmm, should I? Better than patrol duty. to get stuck, aren't I? Yes. No.
No. I did not need to do that. <laughs> Low level bitches. Oaks's trade journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. <laughs> A rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now, to find the crooked tree. A tree, just as the map said. A crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. If we can't even agree on something amongst ourselves, how on earth you can feed a beast or it can feed you, if you get my meaning. Crumbling tower. And the crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. I mean, obviously, that wasn't part.
do we have here? Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my more luck higher up in the keep. Glad I was never locked up here. A ladder. That's what I need. No shit, you... Me. Oh. Have my wits about me. What the hell? Oh, is it the ruins and the closed door? That it. Must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free.
demons of your death set me free! Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening them. Look for a boiler door. I've heard you speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Pass me my wand. I can't get out of this damn cell without it. My last hope. Please. You did it! Oh, you found my... You're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ramos loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long they forgot I was even there. They overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. You mentioned you ever. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal <coughs> dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock was... The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sorry. Am I right that you speak goblin? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a... It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like... I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Oh, and I, her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits. Always analyze. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my <coughs> safety. Will you be... I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Okay, I found the exit on the first go. 